Hello! I really like geometric design, art, and decor, and I've seen some examples around of geometric shapes and gems made from washi tape and other materials, so I wanted to try out my own 3D version of this idea and make some cool modern gem wall art. These gems can also make a nice minimal sculpture piece on top of your shelf or table. In this video, I'll show you the exact measurements and how to make these four different gem shapes. If you want to, you can use just one shape and make multiples of it or any combination, or you can use this as a guide to make your own sizes and shapes. Before I did anything, I first did some research and sketched out gem shapes, then broke down the pieces that made up the shapes. If you decide to try out making your own custom geometric shapes, I recommend doing the same because it will help you plan out your pieces. There are really so many variations of different shapes and colors and sizes that you could try, so it's really up to you how you want these shapes to pop out on your wall or your tabletop. And as usual, I will put a complete list of all the supplies I used in the video description below, and let's get to it! To make these gems, I'll be using 12 inch wood craft dowels, and they're 5 millimeters in diameter. To cut these, I'll be using dog nail trimmers. I know this is weird, but they are actually the perfect shape and size to cut wood dowels. You can also use wire cutters, but I will say that the nail trimmers do leave a much cleaner cut. And you can pick them up at pet stores or online. Then I'll be using wax paper so it's easier to work with hot glue. And then a glue gun. First I'll show you how to make this larger square shaped emerald gem. You'll need 8 dowels for this one. Trim them into 4 9 inches, 4 6 inches, and 12 3 inch pieces. I made a diagram like this for each gem, so at any point in the video that you feel lost or you need the measurements to cut, just refer back to this point of the video. Use a ruler to measure out and mark them, and then trim the dowels. To make a clean cut, just score it around the trimmer inside and then cut it completely, and you'll see that it makes a nice clean cut. Start with two 9 inch pieces and two 3 inch pieces and make a rectangle shape. Just add a little bit of glue on the end and then glue them together. And don't worry about not adding enough glue because you will add more glue later. When you have a nice even rectangle shape, then you can add more glue to the joints to make it more secure. Repeat that step to make two of these rectangle shapes. Then grab two 6 inch pieces and two 3 inch pieces and we're going to make a smaller rectangle. Glue the pieces in the same way and repeat that step so you have two of those shapes. Now that you have all these rectangle shapes, get the three inch pieces and start gluing them onto the corners. You'll want to add a little glue on the ends and then add a little glue on the corner of these two rectangle pieces. And in order to make this three dimensional, you'll have to lift it up a little as you glue the corners on. You'll see the gems start to take shape and it just gets easier as you go on. Just keep going around and gluing those corners. You can add more glue to the joints to make it even more secure, and once the glue is all dry, you want to remove those little strings of glue before you paint. I took this one outside to spray paint an aqua color, and after a couple of coats and some drying time, it was all done. For this next gem, I used five dowels, trimmed them to three six inches and ten four inch pieces. I trimmed those measurements out and then started with two six inch pieces and two four inch pieces and made a square shape. After that's all glued, set that aside and grab your 4 inch pieces. Form a triangle with 3 of them and glue the corners and then you want to repeat that step to make 2 triangles. Glue the triangle and the corner of the rectangle shape like this and then you want to flip it over so that it will stand up like this and glue on the remaining 4 inch dowels onto the open corners. Then glue on the 6 inch dowel to complete the other side. Then glue on the other triangle and the other 4 inch piece to complete the gem. And then add more glue to the joints so that it's all secure. I decided to paint this one purple and here is how it turned out. This next one is similar but it's a diamond shape. For this one you'll need 6 dowels cut into 4 9 inch pieces, 2 6 inch, and 6 4 inch. First you want to make a rectangle with 2 4 inch pieces and 2 6 inch pieces. Then set that one aside and grab the 4 inch pieces to make an open triangle top like this. And you'll need to make two of these. Now with all of the glued pieces, you're going to hold up the rectangle slightly and make the sides with the triangular shaped pieces. So just glue those tips to the corners. And it's okay if there's just a little amount of glue on the joints, 
you actually want these pieces to be flexible as you're working so that you can move it around in case you need to and then when the shape is all complete you can put one more round of glue on and that will be the permanent fix okay now that i have this shape going on i'm going to put the rectangle side flat to the table and grab those nine inch pieces and start to make the bottom of the diamond shape so glue a v shape and then glue that to the bottom of the rectangle then with the remaining nine inch pieces glue those to the sides i left all the glued areas to be a little flexible so i'm just gluing these end bits to the very tip to form the diamond shape and this is just one way to construct this shape this is what i found worked easiest for me but you can form them in a different order or glue them in a different way whatever you find works easiest for you then I flipped it over and there's my diamond shape, but now I want to secure all of the ends with an extra layer of glue so that it's more permanent. And I decided to spray paint this one hot pink. This next one is a smaller diamond shape gem. You'll need five dowels trimmed to four six inch, seven three inch, and three one and a half inch. Starting with three three inch pieces, make a shape like this. Then add the one and a half inch piece on top. Then glue them in place. And repeat that step to make two of these shapes. Now with the three inch piece and the two six inch pieces, form a triangle shape like this and glue the ends in place. Now get those other pieces that you made before and put them together like this, but you want the one and a half inch piece in between. Glue that little piece in the middle on the top like this and just a dot of glue so that the whole piece remains flexible. Grab that triangle shape that you made and put that in the middle portion and glue that in place. I found this next step to be easier if I flipped the whole shape over so then I can move the pieces to make the shape I want. Grab the remaining six inch pieces and glue them to the sides like this while still staying flexible. So again, you just need like a dot of glue. Now to make this gem three dimensional, lift the middle up and bring the sides in so that you form the diamond shape. The tip of the diamond is the remaining piece that will hold it all together, so I glued the first layer of the ends down like this, and added more glue on top of that to glue the remaining ends down. Then add a little more glue on top of that to secure it. And if you have some pieces fall apart, that's totally fine. You can always go back in and add more glue to the joints now that you have the final shape. And to finish, I decided to make this one a neutral, simple black gem. And to hang these up, I used a clear tack. I really like how these turned out. I think they add a fresh modern touch and you can definitely customize them with different colors. You can try metallics or use them to add a pop of color or interest to anywhere you want to put them. If you try these out, I would love to see pictures of the gems that you make. So go ahead and share those on my social links right here. For more DIY projects and inspiration, come check out my channel, See Lemon, and subscribe for more videos. Here are some recent videos I made on kind of home wall decor projects. One is a really easy circle lock pattern, which makes a cool art piece. And for a new take on a chalkboard or a cork board, check out this video on the right. For more ideas, I have a lot of other videos on my channel, and you can check those out at youtube.com slash DIY. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more home decor type projects. I'll see you guys next time.